Oh, hello. 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 No. Welcome to another vlog. I thought I would vlog because I wanted to update you on Jasper because he's grown so much already. He's like put on maybe double his weight that I got him um, when you last saw him on the channel. And he's doing so well, he can sit, he can lie down, he can do paw. And now he's allowed on the leash as well. So, he's had his second vaccine, so he's all vaccinated. And I'll be taking him for a walk, I think, today, even though it's raining. Don't know how I feel about the rain. Will you like the rain? Yeah. He's literally, like, breaking my heart every day I have him. But he's got into a habit of... Um, waking me up at like 8 o'clock every time Rich goes to work he wakes me up so no lie in for me and I've just been going to bed at like 10 every night I have some makeup clients today and tomorrow but I have quite a bit of free time I've got some new things to show you as well it's kind of like a vlogmas I guess we haven't actually put the tree up yet so we'll probably put the tree up next week as well oh look at him look at you you're such a poser yeah his legs. Such a boat. Oh, I'm gonna wash my hair and get ready. I've had a coffee. Waiting for my mum to come at 10. Freaking gross. It's like so greasy. I've got some new makeup as well, so I'm gonna show you that once I'm showered and healthy. Hello, so I'm like pretty much ready to go, except for my hair. I'm growing it as much as I can at the moment. I'm just not doing anything to it, and it seems to be going really nicely. I use the Tresemme shampoo, I think it's the moisturizing shampoo and the deep smoothing mask from Tresemme and I use that as a conditioner. Oh, I don't know why, but you're moaning all the time. Is it because you want attention? I think he wants cuddles and nap time. And I just leave it to dry as much as I can so I don't put a lot of heat on it. I'm also going to show you some skincare bits because I haven't done my skincare yet. Are you going to be okay if I put you down? <laughs> My mum actually gave me this calendar, which is amazing, for Christmas, and it's a Declior calendar. I haven't actually had a beauty calendar before, um, but Declior is my favourite skincare brand because they do essential oil skincare, so everything is infused with essential oils. Look how pretty it is. Oh, it's so nice. Sixth today, so I can open the sixth. It is Aroma Sense Soothing Comfort Night face balm for sensitive skin. My skincare regime consists of a few things now. First thing I do is put a hyaluronic, use the ordinary hyaluronic acid on my face and this is good for like if you've got super dry skin, especially around the winter time, it like locks in moisture. Straight away I'm just gonna use the Hydrofloral Fresh Declior um, Moisturizer, which is what I got in this um, advent calendar. This is one of the reasons why I love Declior is because of this product. I also have been using this, it's supposed to be for a night time. It's the Nightly Lip Treatment Age Smart from Dermalogica. It came in a PR package and it comes with like this nice cooling, oh my hands are slippy. One thing, I don't know how to call this. <laughs> Am I a beauty blogger? Who knows? Um, and I just smothered that on my lips. I also went to a Lush PR event and we made a bath bomb. I don't know what it's called, I can't remember, Starlight or something, um, but it's got stars in it. it. Smells really good and we got to make that. We also got a breakdown of their new spa facilities, which are absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it if you've got some money to spare because they do a lot more than just give you a massage. And I think that that is like, quite important. Sometimes I feel when I have a massage they just come in and out, they don't really do a lot other than just give you a massage. But they have shower facilities, they have a comfort area, there's no time limit on your appointment. Obviously the massage there's a time limit but when you come out of there you can spend as much time up there as possible. Like it's set out like an apartment, it's so so nice. They gifted us a few bits as well. Came in this beautiful little hair wrap slash present wrap, scarf, whatever, and which is a really good way of doing your presents this year if you want to be a bit more sustainable, a bit more eco-friendly. If you've got some scarves lying around, I think it's such a good idea. We've got a few products in here. This one is the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. I actually have the Snow Fairy Lip Scrub. I've got this bath one, which I'm not sure 
what it is, but it smells amazing. <laughs> also got this Snow Fairy body condition conditioner. This candy cane, which is also a bath bomb that smells amazing. Once I don't really use, I'm gonna gift. Um, but yeah, the hair wrap thing is such a good idea because it can be used in so many different ways. So I did a boo-boo and I completely forgot to take my camera when we went for a walk. He had such a good time. He still isn't sure about Bobby yet, my family dog. <laughs> I think Bobby's just so grumpy. And he's a seven or eight, so he's, why are you making so much noise? Jasper, you okay? You okay? You sleepy? You sleepy pup. I'm gonna get on with some editing now. I've got something really exciting that I'm launching soon. So my priorities are on that at the moment. So I'm gonna be doing some work and it's gonna be quite boring. And then I'll do my client, which is at half two. And then I have a free evening. Yes. Hey, I had my client and it's the evening now. I got six pigments from Peaches Makeup. I'll link them down below. But they have an offer on at the moment, six for 20 pounds. So I got six pigments for 20 pounds and they are absolutely stunning. So these are the pigments here. This one's Rodeo. It's like a metallic shiny pigment. That one there is Cinderella. Then that one is Mademoiselle. This one is Famous and the whiter one is Hollywood. This one's Cactus. I thought that Hollywood could be like a really nice highlighter shade as well. And maybe even Famous. I think around the Christmas time when I have some clients, it'll be really cool to use. I also got a PR package from Revlon, which I'll show you now. An eyeshadow palette here, the Revlon Colorstay. 500 quad palette, actually quite decent. Um, a nice everyday to night or a smoky eye would look nice. Colorstay Endless Glow Liquid Highlight and it's a really nice gold elixir color. Um, I'll swatch this on my hand here so you can see. It looks really intense as a highlight. So it's this one here, that looks quite nice actually. Then they gave me a set of five brushes, which is a free gift with, I think it's a purchase, a certain purchase, if it's like over a certain purchase. Also had a lipstick sent over, which is this like, it's called Bombshell Red and it's like a, more of like a deep red color here. Let's watch that, why not? which is that colour there. It's like a deep red hydrating illuminating primer, which is a base for your makeup, which I'm really intrigued about because I don't really use a lot of primers. I use a lot of moisturisers, so I'm not sure how this will be. This is in Rose Quartz. Interesting, it's like a pearly primer. But yeah, I will link everything down below if you're interested. Um, I'm never, never sure whether to feature um, what I get sent in these vlogs um, because I never know if you guys are interested. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm coming down with something. I'm coming down with a bit of like a, I don't know, like my throat's really sore. I think I'm just going to take it easy tonight and do some editing. A bit lethargic, if I'm going to be honest, after my client. Um, she had a Day of the Dead makeup look um, and it looked pretty sick, but it took a lot of effort. I'm going to sign off and I'll probably see you in the morning now. Morning, it, well it's not morning anymore, it's actually lunchtime. Um, which is gonna make some breakfast and I'm gonna go in the shower because I smell. <laughs> and yeah, we might take Jasper out for a walk as well. There you are. Sit. Oh, good boy. Uh, um, eggs delight. He was DJing last night so he's a bit tired and groggy. The plan is to actually go and get out the house today and do some stuff. Maybe do some Christmas shopping. Want to get some clay to make some um, trinket dishes. Wash myself. Oh my God, a luxury. I wasn't feeling very well last night actually. Um, I had a Domino's pizza. Large Domino's, just cheese and barbecue on my pizza. Don't hate me. I have no toppings. I'm gonna turn it upside down and enjoy myself and enjoy my day off. What have I got in my deck, Leo? Calendar today. This is the sixth. I have, I have an aroma cleanse thing. 
what is it? Cleansing milk. That was the ninth, not the sixth. Oh god. Right, six. That's already done. So seventh. It must be the seventh. Aroma cleanse, three in one, hydro, radiance, smoothing and cleansing mousse. I think I guess that's for your body. I'm gonna try it out now actually. I literally haven't fucked for the whole day. Apologise. <laughs> anyway, I went to Hardy Shopping. We before that we took Jasper on a walk and he looked super cute. I'll insert a photo now of his jacket. Oh my goodness. I wanted like a Russian hat for ages. I found this one and I fell in love with this one so I ended up getting it. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks nice. It's like Jamiroquai hat. Jamiroquai? Yeah. But yeah. It was Turn around and show the camera your hat. Two pounds, bargain. Fine. Um, it was between this and another one, but the other one was way too big for my head. Got this for my mum as an early Christmas present. She knows about it, so if she's watching, she can watch up to this point. It's eight pounds, it's really good quality. And it's got sequins on it and embroidery and stuff, and it's shimmery, and I thought she'd like that. Any of my family members are watching this vlog, you have to stop watching it now because some of their stuff is actually present, so. Stop watching. <laughs> I got this little like thing from a charity shop which I thought was really cute and I thought that you could put like rings and earrings in the bottom and then like hang necklaces on the top and it's gold and it's really cute and if that's not for someone else then I'm probably going to keep it for myself because it was only £1.20. I found this and I've been wanting this to give this to someone for ages. It's a Prosecco drinking game. So it's like beer pong but it's for Prosecco. And I cannot believe I found this at a charity shop because they're so expensive. £2.25 and it has everything in there. I bought myself a skirt. It's quite big but I'm going to belt it up and hopefully if I belt it up it'll be a bit better. Um, but it's got like, I don't know if you can see but the, it's Kind of like got like a nice silk embroidery on it. £4.49, but I think it's a bit more expensive because it's better quality. Actually, I think it's quite vintage. Stop following him with the camera. Cotton yarn to make iPads, like reusable iPads. Two bottles of gin, and I knew I was going to get these straight away because I've seen them in home bargains for such a long time. So this one is Mystical Unicorn. Gin liqueur, Palmer Violet gin, and it's going to be Palmer Violet flavour, obviously. You don't have to record him anymore if you want. <laughs> what do you think of my presents? Good, good presents. They're great, life changing. They were day making. Day making? Okay, great. Day making presents. Hey guys, oh, it's quite late at night. I've been chilling with Rich, watching Vikings. I'm absolutely loving Vikings at the moment. Oh my God, like absolutely addicted. I'm just gonna put my hair up because I'm gonna do some skincare. A new thing, by the way, using one of these clips to like make a bun. Today, I made some reusable cotton pads out of um, crocheting. Instead of using like cotton pads, um, you can use these. They're literally just little circular cotton crochet pads. Also made a cloth as well, a face cloth, which is similar to my Primark ones, but I really dislike my Primark ones. Um, so I made one to go with these. So I'm gonna start with this intensive moisture cleanser. Tiny little amount. It's actually got some like kind of grit to it, maybe some sort of exfoliating quality, which I really like makes my skin so soft. Just soaked it with warm water. It really soaked it. Use that all over my face. It's a little bit more rough than the unusual ones and it's actually getting a lot more off. Declior I've been getting in my um, advent calendar. So I think I'm going to use this Soothing Comfort Night Balm by Declior. Oh, that's so nice. I'm going to go in with the Barrier Defence Booster from Dermalogica as well and this comes in like a really small pipette and I'm just going to shake it quite hard onto my palm so only a tiny tiny little bit comes out. Put my two hands together and just kind of just press it into my skin. So I'm going to go for the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture. Just going to take a tiny little bit of that, well actually quite a lot of that. 
and just take that from the face. The last thing I'm going to do is take the Dermalogica Nightly Lip Treatment. I think I've already mentioned some of these products actually. But this is pretty much my glowing face. This review, really good, was small change but a big impact like i'd really highly recommend to get a cloth like this now i'm probably gonna head to bed watch something on my laptop and fall asleep and drink lots of water because my throat is so sore but i will see you in the morning two hours ago, <clears throat> Rich was still in bed. I felt so ill last night and I had really bad period pains, so it wasn't great night sleep. Um, and Jasper woke us up the usual time, about 7.30 for his dinner. He absolutely cannot do anything without his breakfast. Did I say dinner? I meant breakfast. We're gonna go to get some breakfast at Waterloo Tea Rooms. I think I need to go to Sainsbury's to get oat milk. I want to get some clay to start doing some DIY clay trinket bowls and we're going to take Jasper for a walk again and see how it goes. This hat is um, one that I got from the charity shop yesterday so I'd give it a go today and see how it is. I like it because it covers like most of my face. Got this white um, fine knit which is also from a charity shop. I'm going to be putting this scarf around me like this. And then also wear my Doc Martens and my brown furry coat. I haven't actually invested in a new coat at all this year because I've got so many nice coats and I'm very like into being reusable and using all my old clothes. I like this jacket. This is one of my favourite ones. It's kind of maxi length and it's from Urban Outfitters. I always get complimented on it. Sorry, I haven't got my shoes on. <laughs> um, whilst I'm in this room, I want to just show you some DIY bits that I did for my backdrop. I did say I was going to do it in a whole big video, but there's only a couple of things that I did. Got this mat from Home Sense. It actually crocheted, not knitted. Um, this um, blanket, it's got like tassels on it and everything. Obviously, I love crocheting, so I thought I would try and do something that is kind of in this colour scheme. Rich's wardrobe broke, and the mirror came off it so this is just the mirror from that but I actually really like it because it was quite big. I want to get some fairy lights to go around the top of it. Then these two hangers are from Primark. I've just um, hooked them onto this. Ignore that, that was messed up but just hooked them onto this with a little piece of clear elastic which is a, like a hair elastic and it just sits, one sits lower than the other. Perfect to hang all my jewellery on. This black um, grid is well I really wanted one for ages to hang like little things off Amazon had one for like 20 quid but my mum actually had this lying around it was actually silver and it was for to hang plants on just spray painted it black and got those bulldog clips from Home Bargains which is like our like really cheap shop and then just stuck like little bits on this is a piece of material from a cushion that I made this is my notepad that I use all the time this has got all my hair scrunchies in, it's just a pumpkin thing that I liked, I don't know why it's still there, I should really change that, it's not pumpkin season anymore. Um, that I made, this one, this is hilarious, I can't believe I'm showing you this, but this one went wrong. <laughs> so I just covered it with this one that I made, which is just like a shape of a woman. The good thing about those grids is that you can literally just change it however you feel. I hate this little light showing, but I can't really do anything about that. I also want to add some storage maybe, maybe some shells by here. Had a nice little walk, went to the range, grabbed a few things, which I'm going to show you now. And then I also grabbed some soup for us to have for like brunch, I guess. We had a really nice walk and Jasper's doing really well. He's currently eating his food at the moment. We got him this cute little mat by there to hold all of his stuff on because he's getting really messy when he eats. Got some tomato and mascarpone 
to we're gonna share um a baton tiger no giraffe baton so now i'm gonna attempt to make some clay dishes i'm gonna do them now because i have a day off tomorrow also they need to basically stand for 24 hours got this clay which is you can get air drying clay or you can get the clay i think you oven bake it but the oven baking one is a lot more expensive oh hey guys virtual amy here so i'm just showing you what you need to make the trinket pots clay um, a rolling pin, something to cut the clay with, like a knife or a pen, something to mould the clay with, so that's the bowls in my case, and a kitchen towel. And to start you'll need to open your clay up and cut a bit of the clay off, I used about an inch of it in woods, and I split it into two, then I rolled one of the pieces into a ball shape, placed it on the board, put a kitchen towel or something over the top and roll the pin off. The reason I do that is so that it doesn't stick to the rolling pin and you should end up with something that looks like this. Next grab your mould, so I just used the bowl as a reference and cut the clay into a circle and then take all the excess off and then you should have your trinket. Um, I just smooth out some of the edges and to make it fit into the bowl nicely I had to cut a little triangle section off as you can see here and then you just press it and mould it into the bowl. Now I'm just taking a knife to clean off the edges to make it look a bit more professional. After 24 hours you should have your moulds ready. I did a leaf and a bowl and a little small trinket. I'm just placing it up onto parchment paper on a baking tray and I'm just sanding off all the edges of the trinket dishes to make the surface smooth. Now I'm adding white paint to the trinket dish just to make it look a bit more professional and I also added a gold trim around that bowl and with the leaf I painted it green and then the small one kind of just messed up so just ignore that one. This is what it ends up looking like and I'm, now I'm just creating Mod Podge by mixing PVA glue with water and then making like a shiny finish over the top of the trinket dishes. Okay, so we have just come back from Rich's mum's place. Well, actually we haven't just come back. Came back quite a while ago now. I've run myself a bath before dinner. It's about half seven. Look how dreamy the lights are. Bath salts I'll be using are these ones which I featured in, I think it was a TK Maxx haul. This didn't actually want to focus in the bathroom. I think it was just a bit steamy, but this is what I'm going to use on my face. Um, it came in a Dermalogica uh, PR package, Rapid Reveal Peel. I've never used anything like this before, so I'll let you know how it is. I did the peel. It felt really strange on, like it was like burning my face. Um, and then after you put cold water on, and you know when you ever, when you like wash your face you always use warm water, but with this you use cold water. It's kind of like burning when you put it on, it sounds weird, but it doesn't burn to the point where it's really uncomfortable, it just is, it just feels really hot, like you've got like a hot water bottle near your face. My face didn't get red or anything, but you can see it's super shiny, like look at my forehead. I think it worked. Which is making food. Puppy Morning guys. An update on my skin by the way. I absolutely love it. Didn't have to do anything this morning. Like, I don't know if you can see. But it's so shiny. The spot has gone down lows already. And I'm just really happy with that Dermalogica treatment stuff. I think I'll definitely be getting that again. <laughs> So I'm going to be chopping my um, oranges up to make a garland and I'm literally just going to, I've preheated the oven to 140 degrees 
and I've got this tray with this wide rack on top which is gonna help the moisture underneath um, dissolve I guess. Um, if not you can use a parchment paper lined onto the um, baking tray. So what I'm going to be doing now I've just sliced them all I think <laughs> they're unintentionally all different um, sizes but that's fine rustic. Um, so I'm just going to try and like use tissue paper and dry them out. I'm going to just I've got a whole bunch here so I'm just going to like pat them all dry as dry as I can get really and pop them in going to probably put them on the top shelf and just see how they go. <laughs> they did burn a little bit but this is what they look like. And I'm going to pop them on a string now as like a little garland. I'm not sure why that happened. I think it's because our oven should. What I'm going to do is take this string and kind of like just I'm um, improvising here. I think what I'm going to do is just take some of these cinnamon which are from like Tiger originally. Cylinder shape so I'm just going to pop that in there. Just put and then I pop this orange through so it like sits like that and I'll just be like doing that the whole way I think. This is what it looks like at the moment. I don't know whether to keep it in the kitchen. It does smell really nice and like have it by a window or by the fireplace. So I haven't really worked that out yet but how cool is it? Yes! So it's now currently the evening. I put up the tree. It was all very nice. And look how pretty it is. Did the tree. Made everything nice. We even put crackers on the TV. Hey guys. So it's the morning now. It's 10.30. Um, me and Mum are on our way to MacArthur Glen, which is in Bridgend in Card but outside of Cardiff. It's basically an outlet store which has loads of different brands. Um, they've actually gifted us a £150 voucher to spend whilst we're there, so I'm really excited. And it means that I can have a good look round. I think I'm gonna do some sort of IGTV of what I bought over on my Instagram, so I'm not gonna go into detail on this vlog of what I bought, but if you're interested, go over to my Instagram. It looks so pretty and Christmassy, it's so nice. Like there's Levi's here, there's all sorts. So yeah, first things first though, we're gonna get some food. Decisions. Oh, there's a food court. Yeah, <laughs> nice. What did you get? A white, a white marker. So I'm going to end this vlog now because we're going out for food and I just, yeah, I think it's about time. I'm just going to quickly show you the finished product of my um, little trinket dishes. Something horrendous went wrong during the process and I ended up um, breaking the leaf and I'm hopefully going to just glue that back together. That's kind of the basis of what it looks like. I thought it looks quite cute for my first try. I think I'm gonna attempt a few more. Yeah, this was the horrendous leaf that went wrong. Thank you guys for watching the vlog, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, you sleepy. Subscribe if you want more puppy footage for sure, and I will see you in the next one.